Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pour with Sonia. And I just had a disastrous pour where I tried to do a cloud pour and I chose kind of this, the colors I chose were purples and pinks and this bright green. I thought, oh, that'll be fun. Everybody does the blues. I'm going to try something different. Well, guess what? People choose the blues because um, then it doesn't look like a bunch of intestines <laughs> when all the pink turns in, uh, and mixes with the cloud white. So <laughs> that one didn't turn out too well, but I do like those colors. So I thought now I would do maybe a Sheely swipe. So what I've mixed up is um, most of them are Joe Sonia's. Well, I no, maybe not. Never mind. I got a Joe Sonia Violent Iridescent mixed with a little bit of Dioxanine Purple. Dioxanine Purple is opaque. Violet Iridescent is transparent. It also lightened it up a little bit for me and uh, maybe won't be quite so opaque. And then I have some Pearlex Interference Blue. Um, then I have some Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. That's another opaque. So I try not to use too many opaques, but these are just the colors I wanted. So I'm not sure how they're gonna work out. So I also threw in an Interference Green, which I think is gonna, you know, these Interference should be some transparency because then I have another opaque, which is the Amethyst by Joe Sonia. And then I have a Semi-Transparent, which is the Purple Matter. Purple Matter, isn't it really purple? It's kind of this red-violet color. Um, so here, let me move this light back over a little bit so it's more on the actual work surface. And you can see the colors. So the purple matter is more of a red-violet. I mix them a little bit on the thick side. I like them a little thicker, I guess. Um, I'm gonna try and pour these on a black pillow and swipe with a white cell activator. I'm just moving my paints out of the way because I don't have a lot of room uh, in that area. And swipes take up a lot of room because you've got to be able to, to pull it towards you and stuff. So my cell activator is the Aussie Floetrol and Amsterdam Titanium White. I've got a little piece of plastic here that I'm going to pour that on and then I'm going to dip my thick piece of plastic. In here it's thick, a little bit thicker. Uh, I'm going to dip that into my cell activator and then swipe. And then we'll tilt and then we'll see what happens. So let's do this thing. My pillow paint is Sherwin Williams Color to Go. And I just, um, I either just buy the white samples on, you know, it's a bright white and I don't have them tint it. Or when I want to have a couple things of black, I just have them tint it black for me. Um... And so that's what I'm going to try and pour these colors on. I thought they might be kind of fun to have these, the black contrasting with this bright green and the purple. And I don't know. We'll see. It might get lost in it. I just don't know. So. There's a nice pillow. This is just an 8 by 10. <clears throat> Nothing too big. All right, get that out of the way. And I think I have them in the order I want, which is purple, interference, purple, uh, interference blue, then the bright aqua, interference green, then the amethyst, and then the purple matter. Although purple matter does tend to take over everything. But it's transparent, and I wanted, or semi-transparent, and that's definitely what I wanted on the top. So I'm just going to go with that. If it takes over, it takes over. So put a little bit of this purple down here. And we'll do some interference colors. I'm just going to pour a great big long puddle. Some of this green right on top of that. Or the bright aqua green. Oops. Now the interference green on top of that. The amethyst. And the purple matter. Okay. 
Now, one thing I noticed right now, this kind of pulled out beyond my pillow. So I'm just going to kind of spread my pillow out a little bit so that when I start to swipe, I'm swiping on top of something. See how that pushed out at the edge. So I just want to kind of pull my pillow out as far as that color went. There we go. So at least it's pulling on top of something. Okay. It's out of the way. And I'm going to just give this a quick stir. My cell activator. Put this down here. Got my little plastic. And I'm going to dip my plastic right in there. So I got a good amount. And just come right here and pull it towards me. And then wipe it off. And dip it again. And pull it towards me. And wipe it off. Okay, one more swipe on this side. Oh, I probably didn't need all of all of that. Just need some of it over here. Grab it here. Pull it towards me. Oops, I didn't do a very good job there. <laughs> Didn't do a good job with that one, but I think I'll be able to have enough pillow to tilt that off. So now I'm going to turn this around. Oops, I lost a cup. <clears throat> and repeat. So I'm going to put some more of this cell activator down. <clears throat> Get some paper towel here. Sure that's nice and clean and we'll dip it and now I want to kind of not go in the same I want to start here so I don't have I don't want to do line line so I want to kind of offset the line so I'm going to start right here I'm just going to grab right here and pull it towards me <clears throat> and wipe it off Do that again. Right up here, pull towards me. And wipe that off. I'm glad I got a little more of the aqua green on this side because I really like that color. Oh, come on. I don't really want any black. Okay, last one, last swipe, I should say. Yeah, I'm gonna come right up here and pull it towards me. Okay, pretty decent swipe results all in all because I mean just like with the bloom when you're blowing it if you get a good blow you probably are going to get a good end result um, if you mess up the blow I mean half the battle is the blow right well here if you get a good swipe you're you're going to stretch better and you got to make sure you got enough pillow, pillow to stretch it out too all right so there we have it those are pretty fun colors I think I'm glad I tried them again with a different technique. Well, let's start tilting. Um, I think first, make sure to set that cut back up so when I'm done, 
let's just kind of go off the center. Make sure that gets all the way over. Okay, so I'm going to come back and then go to the corner. Nudge it. <laughs> come back. And then come down to this corner. It's all the way to the paints on this end, so. Okay. Good. Come back here, but come back to the center. Because I don't want to get cockeyed cells. And then we'll go down this way. Right off the center. We don't have far to go. A little bit further, I think. Okay. Come back. Go to this corner. And come back. And then go down to this one. This last corner. Should be able to see. Get that corner there. And come back. I did lose some of my favorite parts, but can't save them all. I got some great interference colors in here, though, and that's kind of fun. I don't know if you can see that at all, but I've got some great interference blue and interference green playing around in there. And a hint of the um, purple also, because I mixed some of that in with the iridescent purple and with the dioxanine. So now let me just kind of go back for composition's sake. Maybe over here a little bit. Try and maybe get... some... Uh, I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, that is fun with that green in there. Okay, good. Um, I actually, I wanted to try and create not your typical line. Like I wanted to kind of have this tilt there. I guess I could go a little bit further off because I got weird stuff happening there, but I didn't want just your basic line, line, line. I wanted to kind of create some different areas so when I saw I, di I didn't really want to lose that purple but I also didn't want just this sharp line I kind of wanted to make something a little different so let me bring you down because there's some really great fun stuff happening here and I don't know that you're going to be able to see it but there is some really great um, interference. I don't know if you can get a little bit, if you can see a little bit of it over here. I've got the interference blue playing off of that purple. And then if I can get you to see it up here, I've got like, if you can see it on the edges most clearly, some of that interference green. And that's all throughout, but it's easier to see on the edge. You know, it plays um, off the light better on the edge. So I've got the interference green and some of that interference blue, um, which the blue is all down here in all of this playing off the black and purple. And that green is all up in here with that aqua. Now, I'm not sure. Yep, and all of that aqua has that green and it's really cool. It even is up here in where some of that um, purple matter is. So I got some really great cells in this where I've got the aqua surrounded by the purple matter surrounded by the cell activator which turned to pink and then down here I've got some really um, delicate kind of the green with that amethyst around it with some white that stayed more white so I've got some fun oh my goodness I like the black pillow mixing in with that aqua and the interference green so that's a pretty cool looking piece. Um, 
sorry, it does not stay in focus very well, my new camera. But uh, there's a lot of fun interference colors in here. Again, I think the only place you can really see it right now is kind of on those edges where you can get a glimpse of the, the blue and a glimpse of the green. But it's all throughout. So, yeah, that turned out pretty cool. I like the black pillow with the um, the colors there. Looks pretty neat. So let me know what you think. The swipe was kind of fun. Did I over tilt it? Did I not tilt it enough? It's got some very 3D effects. Um, I've got some, you know, of this stretched out really 3D stuff and then a little bit smaller ones down here, which I like. Again, because I don't want all the same cell size and I don't want... Um, the thing with these swipes like this is that you're going to have those lines where your swipe tool meets. And I didn't want it to just be straight up. So I kind of tilted off at an angle here to create a different area, a point of interest where your eye would kind of start there and kind of look across this way. And, you know, and then I've got the line here that kind of breaks it up. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. I kind of did that on purpose. I lost some of my purple, but I wanted to kind of create that... L shape, if you will. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If so, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I'm a little bit excited right now because that turned out pretty neat. Um, sorry for interrupting my sign off with my giddy little giggle. Um, so let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. I would love it. And subscribe to my channel. I will show you my failures too. I'll show you the intestine pour I did earlier <laughs> because we learn from our failures and we've got to fail forward and improve. It was my second attempt at a cloud pour. I'm really late to that party. That, that fab was like a year ago, but, um, I wanted to give it a try. So I got to keep trying and see what I come up with. So thanks for watching, everyone, and until we meet again virtually, have fun painting. Bye, everyone.